Hi, it's Aaron with the Wealthy Environmental Center. Today we're going to play a game that involves pretzels and cereal. All right, we are going to talk about taxonomy and do a quick experiment. Now, taxonomy is the study of how humans categorize and, and name organisms. Carl Linnaeus, a Swedish biologist, is considered to have invented the system that we use today, which includes a domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to see if we can't uh, use taxonomy on cereal, and then I have a challenge for you. So let's do it. Here we have a pile of cereal and pretzels. And what we want to do is we want to use Carl Linnaeus's taxonomy to try to uh, divide these into different categories. So uh, right now I have a pile of food. That could be our domain. So our domain is food. And then if we move to kingdom, you know, then things start to get interesting. So our kingdom could be cereal. So if our kingdom is cereal, that means we have to remove our pretzels. And so we have pretzels over here and cereals over here. Now, uh, moving from kingdom, we have phylum. So phylum could be that uh, we eat it using milk. Right, that still doesn't divide it up very much for us. We put all of that in milk. Our class could be spoon. We use a spoon to eat it. And so, uh, again, it really doesn't help us divide anything up. But the next part could be grain. All right, so what is made out of grain and what's not made out of grain? So here we can divide stuff up again. So in here we have marshmallows and cereal. So let me divide that out real quick. So I've removed our marshmallows and have left with cereal that is made out of grain. Now we can go further and we can have a family. And the family is crunch. And then we can have a genus which would be yellow. All right, now that allows me to divide this up even further. So let me divide out all the yellow. We've now finished our genus, which our genus was yellow. So we've moved all the yellow over here. And now we can come up with a species name. And so just looking at this, uh, I think that uh, it's also a rectangle. So I think I'm going to name this species rectangle. Now we could back up one more level to genus and uh, we could uh, have a circular or round genus and then that would be this pile and then our species would be a color name. For example, if our species were green, then we would pick out all of the green. And there would be our green species. All right. That was super fun. Hang on one second. Now, when I do this little activity with uh, students, I like to give them a, a large a uh, container full of this type of cereal. And I like to have them dump it out on the table. And, you know, they munch it and nibble it, which is also fun. And that's part of it. And uh, I ask them if they can come up with 20 different ways to uh, move them into different categories. And uh, I have found that most of the students that do this with me are able to uh, come up with 20 different ways to sort them. You know, for example, we have size and shape. We have color and taste and texture and material. And the list goes on and on. I don't want to give you too many, 
because my challenge for you is how many can you come up with? How many ways can you sort something like this? Now, if you don't have this type of cereal at home, you could uh, put together a bunch of toys in a bin and try to sort them into different categories. So have fun with uh, a little bit of taxonomy and uh, remember, have fun and I'll see you next time.